is up guys so clearly i am in this white canopy thing um so what we have done is put up a carport for my audio i guess addiction at this point um today we are going to be reviewing the harmony audio monolith 18 i got this thing from a buddy of mine for a pretty good deal um so far i am absolutely loving this thing i've beat on it for a couple hours and um it's doing pretty good um a little update it's been a long time but um we got situated into a new home and i have a designated area to film to do reviews on subs um i actually have y'all on my car right now and um we can do some bench testing sometimes, probably off the amp that's in the car. I'm gonna hear some noise, it's a little bit windier today and all this is is basically a tarp with some steel caging around. But um, y'all are here for the sub, so let's go ahead and get this review started. What is up? So this is the Harmony Audio Monolith 18. So far it is, it, it, it kind of blew my mind truthfully. Um, of course, I'm going to play on it a little bit before I post a video, just to make sure it's worthy of posting a video. Um, this thing's rated at 3500 watts max, 1750 RMS. This one's a dual two, or dual one, they come in dual two. It is a TI basket, it's their motor, and then it is going to be... I think it's double spidered. I'm not certain, but that's, it's not in the specs. There's very little specs of this sub online. So bear with me. I might be saying things incorrect, but you know, it is what it is at this point. I'm not doing these for, you know, I'm not getting paid, obviously, or I do a lot more of them. And um, I'm not being told by these companies what to do whatsoever. I am still a very small YouTuber, but this is just for y'all to see the subs in person. I break it down and see how y'all like it. So, as you're going to see on the motor, it's got a 306 or 7 ounce motor. The FS on it is, I think, 33 hertz. It's got 33 millimeters of X Max. I could be wrong on that. Very much could be wrong on that. I had to go to some third party website to find these specs, and it could be completely wrong. But you're going to have double round tinsel leads. I'm going to bring y'all in in a second. And then you're going to see this nice, beautiful carbon fiber cone, dust cap thing. Um, it's still a pressed paper cone, but they have this giant dust cap over it, dust cover. And it's real carbon fiber. You can ask my right hand when I was messing with it if it's real, because I have carbon fiber, fiberglass all in my hand but you're gonna have a mega roll surround nice rubber gasket there's a lot of glue on this sub and you're gonna have the stitch surround going all the way around it so let me go ahead and bring y'all in and show you what i like about the sub the most this sub the most impressive feature to me is it has a three inch black flat wound aluminum coil with the black glue on it i mean it is absolutely coated with glue you're gonna have nice large I think eight gauge, possibly four gauge terminals. Of course, it is a dual voice coil sub. You're gonna have an actual spider pack that is bolted to the frame. And then of course you're going to have very, very beefy dual sewn tensile leads and the round, I like the flat ones a little bit better, but hey, can't complain at this price point. I mean, for 380 bucks, you're getting an actual TI basket around the same price range as a ZVX. And with it being a commonly used custom frame for people to build onto, you could buy this sub if you blew it. I do believe recones are readily available for them. And you could of course always completely tear it down, keep the frame, throw a sundown motor on this or something, do a custom recon. And for a couple hundred bucks more, you have a completely custom built, very strong, 
18. So I'm now bringing y'all in to go ahead and take a look at this sub. Now it does have a lot of playtime on it. It is not a new sub. I actually swapped my buddy some zero gauge CCA wire I had laying around for it because this was sitting in his room. He thought it was blown and you know, hey, what can you say? Sometimes you win some, you lose some. Good friend of mine, so it wasn't like I screwed him over. He, um, he was under the assumption that it had a spider loose or something. But you'll see in the videos it doesn't. It was actually his box rattling. That's why it's always so important. If you're hearing a weird sound, go through all of the possibilities and options that could be making that sound. But we have a nice large, I think it's a 9 or 10 inch spider on this sub. Of course, you're going to have your nice beefy um, terminals. And you can see that pretty nice. Um... Let me get you in there. We're sideways now. Hope y'all ain't gonna mind that. But plenty of glue, three inch flat wound black voice coil. And um, yeah, it's it's impressive. Of course, it's gonna have some scars on it and everything, you know, it, it's used. But this is the dust cone cap thing that they had going on i don't know what to call this whenever it is the whole cone basically i don't know if that adds more cone area or anything but you know we're going with it you can see that nice stitching around the surround you're going to have a very very large surround i have very large hands I and mean, that's my hand in 18 and you know this this surround is very very nice real carbon fiber unfortunately because i have fiberglass all over my hand Nice rubber surround. And then of course, as I was saying, you have a TI basket that is very, very much upgradable with a new motor, you know, completely tear the sub down. Basically getting the basket, but hey, that's if you blow it. Down here, you're gonna see a very large center pole vent, and then you're gonna have coil venting also. Harmony Audio ML181 dual one ohm. And I really think this sub is slept on by a lot of people. Um, I, first of all, I love a TI basket. That's actually what is on my avatars that are in the car. That's right behind me. And of course, the motors on those are about three times bigger. But the sub weighs around 60 pounds. I know I've been doing a lot of talking because I'm excited to have a filming area. There's my truck. Here's the car. But this is a very very nice sub for the price point sub four hundred dollars you know if you have the money you're wanting a good 18 time will tell but this thing has been beat on by at least three owners and it is a buy for sure so let's go ahead and get it tossed in the truck and show y'all what it will do
So guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is going to be the wrap up and the conclusion of it. And truthfully, I think Harmony Audio, they've been around for a couple years. I know I looked at them back in the day and I was impressed with them back then, but you know, didn't have a job, young, couldn't afford it. But um, truthfully, this thing is a win. I would go grab you one longevity of it i mean it's been around three owners at least i know it's been around for a couple years now and um it it does great i um i don't know of any complaints that i really have over there other than i wish they put a little bit more clear coat over the uh carbon fiber because you're going to be hurting but i hope y'all enjoyed it this sub is a absolute beast um I'd say go with this over the ZVX and uh, definitely over the ZVX. It's actually cheaper than the ZVX too. But I mean, 1750 RMS, I've got it on my SK at half ohm. Ooh, half ohm on a one ohm amp, it'll be fine. It's a cut zone, play it. But uh, box, you'll probably see it's a little beat up. I paid 150 bucks for it from a guy that's on my team. I'm on team Blurred Vision with the car need to put that sticker on today actually but um i hope y'all enjoyed it y'all have a great amazing blessed day and i hope to catch y'all on the next one don't know what's in store next might sell this thing pick up a sundown 12 or something because i know everyone loves sundown or um you know it might be a video on the car working on the car because i need to do some work on that i blew 1500 amps of fusing on a 6k amp i don't think that's supposed to happen but Y'all have a great day. I will catch y'all on the next one.